Hey there amazing people, I am Rishab and welcome back to my channel. In this series of Squarespace tutorials, today I am going to show you how you can customize the scroll bar of your website in order to make your website stand out than the usual websites out there. So without any further ado, let's get started. For this tutorial, I am using the Squarespace version 7.1, but you can use this trick on any version of the Squarespace website. So since we want to apply this change to the entire website and not just any particular page, we will be applying the CSS to the entire website. For this we will go to design and custom CSS section. Here is the code that you will need to enter in the custom CSS section of your website. I will be providing this piece of code in the video description from where you can directly copy and paste it to your website. So let's see how it works. We we'll copy this code and add it to the custom CSS section. As you can see, the layout of the scroll bar has been changed. Now let us try to understand this CSS code. The first line says WebKit scroll bar. That is this entire thing including this uh, capsule figure and the background of it. So we can change the width of the scroll bar from here. Suppose you change it to 15, then it will become narrower. You can change it to uh, say 30 and it will be more wider. So you can change it to whatever width that you want. The next thing is WebKit scroll bar track, which is pointing to this green area which you can see over here. That is called the track of the scroll bar. So to, to change the background of that track, you can use any hex code over here. I will change it to 555. So it will become darker. Let's change it to D3, D3, D3. And it will become grayish. So you can change the background of this scroll bar track in accordance to the color theme of your website. You can even add a border to it in order to differentiate that section from the main section of the website. I'll add a border of one pixel to the left of the scroll bar and let's see how it looks. You can see a thin black border being added to the left side of this scroll bar track. The next thing is WebKit scroll bar thumb which points to this capsule area of the scroll bar. You can change the color of this scroll bar thumb by changing the hex code over here. Let us change it to red color. And I have added a little border radius to this scroll bar thumb in order to make the edges of this thumb rounded. You can customize this entire thing as per the layout and color theme of your website. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, Please hit like and share this video. Also do let me know in the comment section if you have got any queries. Thank you.